Hey people, welcome to the party. It is Thursday, Thanksgiving day here in the US. I always feel the need to say that because not everyone that watches these is US based. Um, but yeah, Black Friday is tomorrow or I guess technically tonight starting at midnight. That's how that's how that works. So I thought I'd start scouting for some deals, adding things to cart. So today's kind of a sporadic uh, impromptu live stream. Um, how should we do this? This works. This looks pretty good. Um, hope everyone had a really great Thanksgiving if you celebrated. I hope you're sleeping off the holiday turkey or resting. <laughs> food coma, digesting your holiday turkey. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll start with Funko.com. Um, they've got this like banner up here that says coming soon, Black Friday, Black Friday sale. Um, I got an email this morning saying they were going to do 10% off. Or did I see that on Instagram? I don't remember. But Funko is supposed to be doing 10% off, which a lot of the comments, it must have been Instagram because I remember seeing comments a lot of the comments were like, oh, 10% off is so lame. Like, really, like, you can't do any better. But I don't know. Maybe we'll see better deals on Cyber Monday or they'll just surprise us all with, like, super reduced prices. And the 10% discount is just, like, a, a distraction. Uh, hey, Robbie. Oh, <laughs> maybe I should move my camera. Um, let me see. I'm like right behind the comments, not exactly where I want to be. Uh, save new layout. Okay, here. Did it work? Save. I don't think it's working. Hang on, I'm trying to move the camera. Mm. It's fine. I'll just hide behind the comments, I guess. Hey, Robbie. <laughs> Joshua says, hey, party people. David says, hi, hi. <laughs> I'm like, I'm back here. Um, StreamYard's kind of confusing sometimes. Um, but yeah, let's see what Funko currently has in the Star Wars section. Sort by. I like to sort by newest to see what's new. We'll zoom in a tad. So holiday ornament Darth Vader. This is my first time seeing that. Does anyone actually collect the ornaments? I've seen a few of them in store. I always thought they'd be like the same size as Funko Pops, but they're actually a little smaller, which makes sense because I think they're made out of ceramic. So they're kind of breakable. Hallmark ornaments. Oh, I guess this is a Hallmark exclusive. I do not have any Funko Hallmark uh, Funko ornaments, but I'd be open to it. I don't like dislike them. I just haven't felt like if I got one as a gift, I'd be happy, but I wouldn't go out of my way to get one if that <laughs> makes sense. Morgan Elspeth is cool. Yeah. What do you guys think? Do you think they're going to do a cooler sale than what they, they advertised? All of this I've seen coming soon. Some Mando stuff. This is all coming soon stuff. I want to see what they have in stock. That might actually be on sale. Um. Oh, someone from Twitch says hello. Hello, Violet from Twitch. David says never seen any ornaments. They're they're not bad. Some people like them. I saw Ned B Pop yesterday and I wish I got it. Oh, the Ned B Pop is cool. You should get the Ned B Pop. This is kind of a cool bag. Oh, interesting. It's on the Funko website, but it links you to Loungefly's website. That is interesting. It's like, um, oh, it's NYCC limited edition Star Wars vintage video game lenticular mini backpack exclusive this item is final sale interesting it's kind of cute i wouldn't get it because i only collect the character backpacks really but it is kind of cute some pins i already have all of these ahsoka pops so i wouldn't get those even if they have like a super sale 
Oh, look, they've got the Amazon exclusive Sabine on here. <laughs> Somebody get Tony. I saw Shin. No, he knows. <laughs> Tony knows about Shin. Oh my gosh. The Target exclusive Skiff Guard Lando. I'm going to have to get the what's left of this set. I just... They went on sale for like $11 on Target.com. I'm like, why did I spend $70 on two pops when they're going to go on like deep discount? This bag got reduced to 60 the C-3PO, and it sold out. I do have this bag. Otherwise, I probably would have gotten it when they discounted it to 60 bucks. But I did pay 90 for it. So, you know, it do be like that sometimes. I feel like now we're kind of scrolling on to the old stuff. I don't know. I might, I don't know. I might get some of this stuff. Like I might get a Chase Small Soda if they do a deal on it. It has to be better than 10% though. Funko's not going to get me this year with a 10% deal. Well, this is kind of cool. It's a like Funko t-shirt of the Return of the Jedi. Like one of the movie poster variants. That's actually really clever. I do actually like that a lot. Where is the advent calendar? There has to be... Is there an advent calendar this year? They've got horror movies, DC Comics, Pokemon, WWE. Oh my gosh. Noah from Rogue Nation. If you don't get this, you are a fake WWE fan. They've got Disney... Marvel, and then this is the Star Wars advent calendar. Is this last year's advent calendar? This kind of, I feel like I've seen this before. Are they doing the same advent calendar as last year? Uh, I can't find any Ahsoka Pops in stores. UK shops are rubbish. To be honest with you, Robbie, I don't think I've seen them in store either. I think the only store I've seen them in is Box Lunch. David can't find them either. Yeah, I got mine from Box Lunch, but they did sell out pretty quick, so I'm sure a lot of people haven't seen them in stores. Same with sodas, only found a Captain Carter soda, no Star Wars. Yeah, I don't see Star Wars sodas anywhere either. I only buy those online. The title is Shop With Me, so what are you going to buy? Okay, okay, so in my defense, I my plan for today was to look at a lot of different online shops and kind of add things to cart so that by the time it hits midnight tonight, I'm ready to go, you know, because stores that do deep discounts, like everything is half off or everything is like 30 to 50% off. The good stuff goes fast. So you have to be prepared. So my plan <laughs> was to go online and just add things to cart so that I can just be prepared. And you don't want to start shopping at midnight. Don't do that. Don't be, don't be a noob. Well, 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 Merry Christmas. Tony, we were just talking about you. Uh, Joshua was saying we have to show you the Shin Hati pop, but I'm like, no, no one knows, or not Noah, sorry, Tony knows, Tony knows. I was talking about Noah earlier also, but that was a different thing, WWE thing. No Star Wars calendar this year, but only last year's with Red Vader. Ugh, what? Why? Where's the new advent calendar, Funko? Come on. David, in the info, it says maybe a purchase. <laughs> No, I'm waiting until tomorrow to buy stuff. The calendars have quite a few dupes that are sparkly version. Oh, yeah, I think the snowman minis are sparkly. I saw Christopher from Seriously Star Wars. I think he did an unboxing or a haul where he showed all of the little mini figures from the advent calendar. You better buy this or this is false advertising. Most Black Friday sales are active now. No, they're not, Tony. No, they're not. <laughs> if you look on Funko's website, it says Black Friday coming soon. I bought the Pokemon Funko calendar, and yesterday I got a Lego one also. I've uh, I've seen nearly, oh, I spent nearly 100 pounds on calendars. Wow. They're fun, though. I did the, here, I'll zoom in because I'm just talking now at this point. I did the Harry Potter Funko advent calendar a couple years ago with my mom. It was like my gift to her, but I was like, we'll do this together. And we actually did get super excited every day <laughs> to open it. Like we didn't miss a single day where you're like, oh, you know, we haven't opened our, our Funko. Um, sorry, this light is like super bright. I'm just moving it a bit. 
Oh, we're like, we haven't opened our Funko uh, Harry Potter advent calendar yet. And we would like pop the thing and open the little bag. And now we have like tons of like tiny Harry Potter Funkos. <laughs> it was really fun. Uh, David says, I bought the Dragon Ball Z Funko one. <laughs> I feel like the Dragon Ball Z one must be cool. Uh, for Amazon, yeah. Oh, Amazon. Okay, I do have Amazon in here, so we will look at Amazon. But I don't know if you've noticed this, Tony, but the Amazon deals kind of change because disc trackers will post about a certain pop being like on a Black Friday deal, and then when I'll actually go online to look at it, it's like not a Black Friday deal anymore. So I do think the Amazon deals kind of come and go. I don't think they're like set, you know, and Best Buy and everywhere but Funko. Yeah, they haven't started at loungefly.com either, Tony. They're waiting to surprise us. They're building the anticipation. Last year, I bought the Marvel calendar and Th Thanos came with one arm, emailed Funko and didn't help. Oh, I'm sorry. They're usually pretty helpful. I've emailed them twice about orders and they've, they've helped me out. Maybe Funko Europe has a different customer center. Yeah, they change and or sell out. Yeah. I noticed <laughs> I was going to get a little Wally Funko where he has like the little trash cube because disc trackers posted about it being like seven instead of 15. And when I went on there to buy, I was going to get it for my mom actually, because she collects Pixar Funko pumps. She's got like Monsters Inc. Uh, what else does she have? She has Up. Oh, she has Inside Out. So I was going to get her the Wally because she doesn't have a Wally. And the sale was done. So color me disappointed. What was that for a phrase? I've literally never said that before in my life. Live streams will get you saying some weird things. All right. I think that's it, really. Um, one thing I like to check on Funko.com is back in stock because you'll see some, like, out-of-print things that they've brought back. Oh, my gosh. This is so cute. If I was a Pokemon person, I might actually care. <laughs> it's a Glaceon flocked. I probably said that wrong. I'm not a Pokemon fan, okay, people? <laughs> oh my gosh, I was looking for this at Target. It's like $100 on Amazon right now. It's Pocahontas with like the, the tree, the talking tree. And look at Miko stuffing his face with crackers. Too cute. Oh my gosh. If there's a Black Friday deal on that, I might actually get that. Is it crazy expensive? Yes. But you know what? If you take $5 off... <laughs> I might feel the need to get it. Uh, continuing my ADHD rant. Is anyone collecting these gingerbread Funko things? Like the whole Marvel line that they started last year? They're kind of cool. I've seen them in person. They do stand up because they made them like thicker than actual cookies. So you can like stand them up on their flat feet. And I actually kind of like them. They're not doing that for Star Wars, I don't think. If they did that for Star Wars, I would be seriously tempted to start that collection. Just imagine a tray of Star Wars gingerbread cookies. <laughs> I don't know. I'd be tempted. Uh, I'm going to start celebrating it just for two days off. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going to start celebrating Thanksgiving. You should. How is your Thanksgiving going? Don't celebrate here in the UK. Yeah, so my Thanksgiving... Uh, oh my gosh, I'm going to try to make a long story short. <laughs> my Thanksgiving was technically yesterday. We like moved it up because my parents are helping me move out my storage unit on uh, Saturday. So they flew out this morning and I'm flying out tomorrow and they're going to help me with that Saturday. Um, trying not to bore everyone <laughs> with the super boring story, but I'm getting my storage unit stuff. And hopefully I'll have all my Disney stuff back to show you guys because I, I want to start showing you some of my Disney collectibles. Hopefully it didn't all get stolen. I keep telling my mom, like, I just hope if there's one box of my lounge fly bags, because I had like three large boxes just full of lounge fly backpacks, mostly Disney. If I have just one box, I'll be so glad because <laughs> it got broken into and um, stolen from. Uh, so I'm going to get my stuff on Saturday. Um, so we, we did move Thanksgiving because, like I said, my parents just flew out. Um, so it's just me today and my fiance is working. So it's just me for today. <laughs> you guys are the ones keeping me company. <laughs> I have a gingerbread Funko Black Panther key ring. They're okay. Oh, nice. I feel like that's actually a really cute key ring. 
Uh, I'm not a fan of the Christmas Funkos. Tony says, LOL, no. I think that's about the gingerbread, the gingerbread cookies. All right, let's go on Loungefly, who also doesn't want to tell us what their Black Friday deal is, because if you look over here, it says Black Friday arrives in dot, dot, dot. So they don't want us to know. So they started doing this line for dogs. So they've got like a dog backpack, a collar, a leash, a little treat baggy thing. So they've got like Wicket and Darth Vader. I don't think these are going to do well. I don't know. I feel like people aren't going for these. Just my hunch. They've got this Return of the Jedi vintage lunchbox crossbody bag. They've got a few of the lunchbox lunchbox things. I think they're leaning more and more into um, like the vintage stuff, like with the vintage arcade thing. And after about here with the vintage game wallet, everything else is old. So Chrysanthemum's been on here. Wicket has been on here haunting people for a few <laughs> a few months now. Uh, I would I would be surprised if there weren't some deep discounts on Loungefly's website. Oh my gosh, I actually want this so bad. The episode three scenes wallet. I want it. It's got Cody on it. Order sixty six moment. It's got Darth Vader rise on the back. It's still full price at $40, so I hope I hope there's a discount there tomorrow. And yeah, like I said, everything else is old. This is on clearance, the Attack of the Clone Scenes backpack. I want to get this, but not for $52. The, the Return of the Jedi one, which is $37 right now. I have already, but I, I would get the Attack of the Clone one if it went down to 37. But yeah, all this stuff is old, uh, so we'll move on. There's really nothing I'm, like, dying to have this year. I don't know. Is that just me? I feel like a lot of the new stuff isn't that new. It's kind of old at this point. Um... I don't think there's any Black Friday deals. Early access premiere guild members, Black Friday. I'm not a guild member yet, though I want to be so I can get that cow statue. I don't know what the deal is going to be here tomorrow, but I just wanted to show you guys some of the new stuff because <laughs> it's actually really cute. It's it's um Life Day Chewy. Is he creepy or <laughs> do you guys like him? And there's a little porg in a Christmas wreath. I think it's kind of cute. If this isn't your Christmas decor, <laughs> what are you doing as a Star Wars fan? Well, they've got like a ga uh, Game of Thrones dragon. Star Wars Shadow Trooper. Bust. I think that's new. I don't think I'd ever seen that before. Shenick fan for pre-order. You know what I just learned literally just yesterday? Shenick, um, did I say Shenick? Oh my gosh. I did not say Shenick fan. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Somebody cancel me. Um, Fennec Shand. I don't know why I do that. Uh, it's like verbal dyslexia. I don't like twist the letters around when I read, only when I talk. Hashtag Christian Haydenson. Um, I just learned that the woman that plays Fennec Shand, I had to take a pause to make sure I said that correctly that time. The woman that plays her did the voice for Mulan. Is that true? I can't believe that. That's crazy to me. So a character that I didn't really care for before, I now really like because she's Mulan. I had no idea. I really hope that's true. Otherwise, I'm just spreading <laughs> false information. But I, I saw that on Instagram yesterday, and I'm pretty sure it's true. That's crazy to me. Um, Star Wars Ahsoka, Grand Admiral Thrawn, minibus. I don't like this. I don't know. It looks weird. Something about the texture on his face is, I don't know. It looks weird. I'm not a fan. I think they've done better 
better Thrawn figurines. What in the world? Star Wars A New Hope, Nabrun Lades Minibus 2023 Halloween exclusive. I don't even know who this is. Who is this? It's not Dr. Afra or whatever her name is. Never seen that before. I guess that's it for like the new Gentle Giant stuff. Yeah, because this we've seen. All right, that's it for the new Gentle Giant stuff, I guess, guys. Um, Target. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I forgot to check the comments. Darth David says canceled. <laughs> hashtag canceled Padawan Chronicles. Hashtag, uh, hashtag Shenick. Hashtag Christian Hayden Singh. Hashtag Vinyl. Hashtag Greywash. <laughs> Christian Hayden Singh. Senec and Grievous learning with the Padawan Chronicle. <laughs> oh, she did voice Mulan. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I love, 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 love Disney's Mulan. So good. The music is just amazing. All right, let's look at BOGO 50% off select toy brands. Oh, wants me to pick a category. Is there a Star Wars category? There's not. Oh, I guess I'll just look up Star Wars. Star Wars, gift to the galaxy. Find something perfect for every Star Wars fan. That's a cute little home page. Let's look at the only at Target stuff. Oh. This is new. Star Wars Black Series Book of Tan Kree's action figure. It's like a hologram. That's new. Oh, and it's got like the bounty on her at the bottom. That is cool. Pretty cool. I like it. What in the world is this? <laughs> Star Wars the Black Series Snowtrooper Holiday Edition. I've never seen that before either. This looks crazy. It's like a snow trooper, but it's a snowman trooper. And it's got like the seeker droid. I don't know. I kind of like it. I usually hate these like holiday black series, but I, I don't know. I can't help but get on board for this one. This is cool. <laughs> I kind of like it. Oh, this I've been seeing in stores. I kind of want it, but it's really small. Like, you can't even really snuggle with it. It's, like, too small to snuggle with. But it's so cute. I'm like a little teddy bear wicket. Oh, look, they have a deal right now on books. Buy two, get one free books, movies, and music. That's a good deal. I usually like to take advantage of that deal. And get some books. Pandemic Star Wars The Clone Wars board game. I actually have seen that in stores. It's reduced to $29.99 right now. Oh my gosh, I might get it. I like the box. That's the real reason I want it. I think the box is cool. Yes, she has a cameo. Oh wait, hang on. Uh, I gotta scroll up. She's also in the live-action Mulan, or no. Oh, she's got a cameo in the live-action Mulan. The voice actor for Winnie the Pooh voices Hondo. I, I've i heard that. Might have been you that I heard that from, Robbie, but I have heard that before. What's terrible? Tony, I don't look at these right away. I need you to write in full sentences, please. <laughs> you haven't seen Clone Wars yet. You can't get it. I know. I have all this stuff that, like, as soon as I'm done with Clone Wars, I'm like, it's going to be a little treat yourself. It's going to be my reward. It's like a reward. <laughs> yeah. I, oh my gosh, I need to schedule the Mortis Arc watch party. I'm, I've been meaning to do that soon uh, when I get back from, from Oregon. Oh my gosh, Haja Estray. Estray is still at Target. Just go to the outlet stores already, Haja. What are you doing? What are you doing hanging around Target? 
Com. That's a, kind of embarrassing for you. <laughs> Finnish Clone Wars. <laughs> How is that for a full sentence, pal? Um, I sense an aggressive tone, Tony. It's Thanksgiving. <laughs> okay, there's no room for all that sass. <laughs> Not today. No, but I will. Um, but I've been enjoying watching it with people, so I want to keep doing that for, like, the major story themes. We're, like, halfway through season three. Just got to schedule maybe even more than halfway. I think we're kind of nearing the end of season three. All right, let's look at Amazon deals, but keep in mind, these might not be here an hour from now because, like I said earlier, Amazon is kind of, like, swapping up their deals. It's not, like, consistent. Um, you can get this 4D build, Star Wars R2-D2 cardstock, but not if you're Tony, because if you're Tony, you will absolutely hate this. Uh, he did, like, this whole stream where he tried to build the Boba Fett, and he, like, broke it immediately, it was super angry <laughs> with, with the world, and, um, yeah, he was not having a good time. It was not a relaxing experience for him, <laughs> but if you have any, any patience at all, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Star Wars Boba Fett electronic mask with sound effects is $20.99 instead of $44.99. So that's not bad. Oh my gosh. This breaks my heart. To see a pop. I'm trying not to raise my voice because I don't want to hurt anybody's ears if anyone's wearing headphones. But to see a pop go down to $7.99 after you paid $30 for it. I don't know. It kind of hurts. <laughs> it kind of hurts. I paid $90 for that whole set. And you can get like the whole thing for like 30 bucks now. It's ridiculous. It's like, I guess it's good if you don't have it already, but <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's kind of a bummer. Uh, Star Wars Monopoly Return of the Jedi. $24.99 instead of $44.99. So if you have six hours to spare, you should get it. Yep, the world sucks sometimes. Oh, because of the the 4D cardstock build, Tony. <laughs> it was a it was a character building moment for you, okay? It was a Nexus Nexus event. My cardboard razor quest was a nightmare. I ended up just super gluing it together. See, Tony, you should have just super glued it. You would have been fine. This is cool. I kind of like it. I want to get it just for the art. I need to stop buying board games just for the art. All right. What else have you got, Amazon? Star Wars year by year. Visual history is $17.14 instead of $40. That's kind of cool. It's kind of neat. It's got some art. Some stamps. That's actually really cool. I do actually really like that. And that might be a deal I take advantage of. Star Wars Legion. I keep seeing this because we were shopping like TCG stores trying to get our hands on Lorcana. Finally did get our hands on Lorcana, by the way. Hang on. Please excuse this brief intermission for me to show you my new Lorcana cards. Finally, finally, finally got them after like three months of checking Target like every other day. And um, yeah, now I have Lorcana. Now I just have to learn how to play. Maybe I'll do that one of these days after I finish Clone Wars. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Legion, we were seeing a lot of that whenever we would check the TCG stores. They've got like a lot of figurines that you can paint. Um, so this is cool if you're into, into the Legion TCG stuff. I think it's just like Dungeons and Dragons, but Star Wars. Star Wars Dungeons and Dragons. The visual encyclopedia is 1533 instead of 32. They've got this really cool Boba Fett shirt. Somebody go tell Eric from Cyrus Speed Reviews. I saw a Ray pop in a store without the box for six pounds. I should have got it. 
yeah, you should have. Go back, see if it's still there. <laughs> the card game. Yeah, Lorcana, the card game. I finally, finally got it. Super excited. We just um, opened up a few of the booster packs earlier. See, I'm using my webcam again because my fancy camera, which is right here, was giving me trouble earlier. So I'm on the webcam and it's not focusing, but yeah, we recorded a whole video on this. I took the memory card out, put it in my computer, can't find the files anywhere. Hopefully they turn up because that was going to be like my first like Disney focused Lorcana, Lorcana video and now it might be gone forever. So I'll let you guys know if, if it ever turns up, but uh, back to Star Wars. <laughs> I do really like this t-shirt. Not a bad deal for $9.60. If you don't already have Qui-Gon, Duel of the Fates, now's your, now's your moment. Oh, you know what was on sale? Was the Padme Funko, oh my gosh, BD1. BD1 is on sale for $69.29, 31% off. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to get that. Let's just look at Lego now. It's not like a Black Friday deal though. It doesn't have the little red, Black Friday red tag. None of these things have Black Friday red tags. Maybe they're just on sale. They just don't say it's for Black Friday. But yeah, they've got the Rex helmet for $55.99. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they didn't just do the Black Friday red tags. I know, always with the technical difficulties. Ugh, I don't know what it is. It's like, if it's not the Wi-Fi, it's like the cords or I'm missing an accessory. Oh my gosh, like, I don't get it either. Or like the internet lags. It's just, uh, yeah, I, I feel that in my heart. <laughs> The question is, does it come in gray wash? <laughs> anything can be gray wash, Tony. Not Tony. <laughs> I just called you Tony. Uh, anything can be gray wash. Robbie, if you wash it badly enough, <laughs> just wash it the wrong way enough times and it'll get that gray wash effect. Any other stores you guys want to look at? I'm uh, very open to suggestions if there's any other stores I should check. This is the Lego website, but I don't see anything about Black Friday on here. Maybe they're also kind of hoping to surprise us with something. I will say, if you guys are into lounge fly bags at all, like even a little bit, the lounge fly, okay, don't quote me on this because I could very well be wrong. The Black Friday deals on lounge fly bags last year was incredible. They had bags for like 20 or $30, like really nice, like relatively new bags. They would sell out super quickly. So you really had to act on them fast. They might've learned their lesson last year and maybe they're not gonna be doing as good of a sale this year because they're like, we sold way too much merchandise for way too cheap. So again, I could be wrong, but they didn't announce it last year. They just had crazy prices on Black Friday. Um, and they sold a ton. Um, hopefully, I'm really hoping they do something like that again this year. And I can get can get a lot of bags. Especially if my Disney bags were all stolen. <laughs> I need to replenish my collection. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tony. Hi, Tony. <laughs> nice to meet you. Darth David says, have you seen the new Sabine Pop? The orange helmet one, I think. Um, new Sabine Pop. Where would I find that? Because it's not on Funko.com. Do you know where it is? I can pull it up. Not this one. This one's been out for a while. Yeah, if you tell me where I can find it, I'll pull it up. So what does Lego have for Advent calendars this year? This looks like last year's. Is this last? Oh, thank you for waiting. Um, okay. I'm just trying to look at it. <laughs> Is this last year's advent calendar? Oh my gosh, you can save a whole $4.50 <laughs> on this advent calendar. Crazy. Disc trackers. Oh, okay, hang on. Let me open up. Uh, 
I'll open up Instagram. Oh, they make you sign in to look stuff up. All right, I'll just look on my phone then, I guess. Let's see. And in case you don't know, Dish Trackers is this one Instagram account that will notify you of literally anything and any fandom dropping the minute it drops. Okay, I'm checking back. I don't see anything Sabine related. Are you sure, Tony? I'm not seeing it. Unless it's like several swipes down. I see the Thrawn. I see Thrawn on here. Oh, new Thrawn. Oh, you're probably talking about this Thrawn. When does this Thrawn go for sale, the new one? I want to get that one. I think if I Google this tracker's Instagram. Oh, yeah. I think that worked. So... See all... It's gonna make me sign in to see all the posts. Oh, it only shows me up to a certain amount. All right, well, I can't pull up the Thrawn then. Hang on, I'm just gonna Google uh, New Sabine Pop. So this is what came up for new Sabine Funko. So you're probably talking about this one maybe. Let's look up Thrawn's. I do want to get the Thrawn pop because I don't have the one that goes for like a million dollars. So I'd love to get an affordable Thrawn. Yeah, where is that dropping? Because I would actually really like to get it. All right, back to this. <laughs> I guess uh, Lego is pulling a Funko and just doing last year's advent calendar. They've also got Harry Potter, Avengers, Friends. Oh, Christmas wreath. That's actually really cute. Okay, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Or maybe they, did they have the Mandalorian themed one last year? I just feel like this looks familiar. Omega on the cover. I feel like this is last year's. I also sent it to you on IG. Oh, you did? Okay, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Oh, oh my gosh, this one. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this one. So people were saying, Funniest things in the comments about this one. I don't even want to. I don't even want to tell you what it was, but people are being so silly. Why is it blurry? This webcam is not great, but yes, that is the new Sabine Funko Pop. First look at Box Lunch exclusive. So it's going to be exclusive to Box Lunch. You guys know I like Box Lunch. It's the metallic Sabine Run Pop. Oh, it's metallic? You really can't even tell from the picture that it's metallic. But yeah, that's going to be cool. I do kind of want that one. That's going to be nice. The Star Wars Lego is new this year. Is it really? Oh my gosh. Maybe I've just been looking at it for so long because I know they release it pretty early. Maybe because we've been looking at it a few months. It feels like last year's. The Mando was two years ago. Last year had Vader in a swimsuit. Oh, from the like the Lego holiday special. Okay. Okay. So I'm glad Lego did something different for this year. Mm -mm -mm. On the website didn't work. Oh, maybe it's on boxlunch.com. Let's check. We're just on like a, a goose chase for this Sabine pop. But it is a Box Lunch exclusive. So, oh, it's not on there yet. 
It's not on Funko.com. It's not on Box Lunch. I think it's just a leak. I think it's just a leaked photo, probably. Well, yeah, unless you guys have any other sites you think I should look at, I guess. Black Series? Let's check Black Series on Target. Star Wars Black Series. Oh, I guess we already kind of did. That's when we saw the little, the snowman Black Series. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not that blown away by the deals this year. I feel like, I don't know, maybe because it's not Friday yet and we don't know what a lot of the deals are actually going to be, like Funko.com, Loungefly, Lego isn't publicizing anything yet. So maybe I'm underwhelmed because it's not time yet. Uh, I meant the website link I posted. It was a Funko Europe site. Oh, I don't think that made it to me, David. I think YouTube blocks. Um, I think YouTube blocks links. Tony shared some emojis earlier. <laughs> don't think so. The Obi-Wan, I don't think so emoji. Are you a member again, Tony? Welcome back. <laughs> uh, someone on Twitch says, do you like Sanrio? I'm really not a huge Sanrio person, um, but I, I, I don't know. There's something about just the image of Hello Kitty that's nostalgic to me because I think it was like my third or fourth birthday. My parents decided to throw me like a Hello Kitty birthday party, and I, I wasn't like watching the show Hello Kitty, but I think it's just specifically because of that one birthday party. So think about your kids' birthday party themes carefully, people. But just because of that one party, I have like an attachment to just the Hello Kitty character. But I couldn't tell you who like the turtle or the penguin or like any of the other people are. But yeah, just that one character, not really the whole franchise. Thank you so much for the super sticker, Robbie. I wish my party lights were plugged in so that I could put the party lights on for you, but um, they're currently lighting my background right now. <laughs> I wanted to have like all, of, let's see how like the bottom row is lit right now. That's where my power cube is, but I'll bring out party palps for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Super appreciate the super chat. Um, incorrect emoji. Uh, Tony. Yeah, not sure what happened to my membership. I don't know. I think sometimes it's set to like, there's like a setting in YouTube will, where it'll set it to not auto renew because that happened to Noah's where it expired after a month and he had to like go in and manually renew it. So maybe it's that. Um, OMG, I didn't know you were live right now. I thought you meant tomorrow, LOL. No, impromptu live stream now, even though I'm supposed to be back to play Lego in like 45 minutes. I just wanted to jump on and do some browsing for Black Friday tomorrow. What a bad friend. It's okay. I forgive you. <laughs> Color me disappointed. <laughs> uh, party pals. I know. It's always a fun time when party pals comes out. No lights, no super chat. Oh, no. I'd have to, like, unplug one of them. And I don't want to get up. But I'll turn the party lights on for you next time. <laughs> Sorry. This was an impromptu thing. Um. Okay. Is that it? What are you guys getting for Black Friday? We're kind of coming to the end of the stream now. Um, but if you guys want to tell me what you're planning on buying or what you have kind of bookmarked away in your cart uh, so that you can get it as soon as it hits midnight and those sales drop. I'm interested to hear what other people are getting. I will be in Oregon where there's no sales tax, so I'll probably be tempted just to shop around in person and see what I find out in the wild. Um, yeah, and by then I'll know what kind of got stolen out of my storage unit and I'll know kind of what I want to replace and maybe find some deals. The thing about my Launchfly collection is a lot of that stuff I got like two years ago and you can't find it anywhere except for eBay. And it's really expensive. Like a, a bag I might have spent $70 on goes for like $200 or $250 on eBay and I'm like, I'm not going to spend $250 on a bag that I originally got for retail. 
Uh, so <laughs> that's what's going on with me. <laughs> I'm not sure, not Star Wars related, but they may buy some Resident Evil games. Um, not familiar with that franchise at all, but that sounds pretty cool. Hopefully tomorrow it all goes well in or Oregon. Thanks, Robbie. I hope so too. If uh, my launch fly bags are all there, I'll like make more videos about my Disney launch fly collection. I also have like five Jim Shore figurines. I had like a ton of Disney Funko Pops. I do think the pops all got stolen though because I had them like stacked in plastic bins like in the back corner and the picture I got from the storage unit guy, you can't see them. They like stacked to the ceiling because it was on top of some boxes and picture you sent me, you really can't see them at all. So either they like knock them over or who knows. I think the pops are stolen. I think the pops are gone, um, but we'll find out tomorrow, I guess. I feel like five years from now, I'll like be watching my videos from this time and I'll be like, oh yeah, my storage unit got stolen. So I'm sure I'll forget and it won't be so sad anymore <laughs> until I watch this video in five years and remember. Darth David says, yeah, all the best for tomorrow. Thank you guys so much. It'll be fun going back to Portland. I haven't been back since I moved away like a year ago. So it'll be nice if nothing else, you know, and maybe I'll get like this really pleasant surprise and all of my Disney stuff will still be there and all will be right in the world. Not, that's a joke. Everything's right in the world regardless. It's just, it's just stuff. We don't really need stuff. It's just fun to have. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm just showing you my Lurkana cards now. I think that means it's probably time to go. So thank you guys for shopping with me for Black Friday deals. I hope it was fun. Um, there's like three other episodes of Shop With Me. If you're interested in watching those, those are on my channel. Have a happy rest of your Thanksgiving and happy Black Friday shopping tomorrow. Um, I'll see you in 40 minutes if you're joining my Lego stream. I'm going to be playing Revenge of the Sith, the Revenge of the Sith chapter. So that'll be fun. Alrighty, guys. God bless. And I'll see you soon.